Alright, what's poppin'? Opinionated Mystery Gang, what's poppin', Mystery Gang? This your girl, Miss Mysterious, and I'm, I'm, I'm in this thing. You feel me? What's up, Opinionated Mystery Gang? What's poppin', Mystery Gang? It's your girl, Miss Mysterious, and I'm in this thing. What's poppin', y'all? So, boom. Tell y'all a little bit about myself. Um, without telling you stuff about myself, because I'm like, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, and I'm about to introduce myself as Miss Mysterious, right? Um, so, I am new to this channel, but I'm not new to reading tarot. Um, I just decided to start a new channel for some fresh energy, y'all, and as we get to know each other, I'm going to explain to you more so why, but, yeah, as far as fresh energy, y'all, yes, we are working on protecting our manifestations, Boom. So while I've been contemplating making this video for about a week or so, um, I've been looking into different topics. So um, the topic that has been the most important to me within the last, I'd say, week, good angles, right? Good angles, cool. So um, the topic I was looking into was um, how to handle rejecting someone, right? So usually... I felt like a normal topic in that area would be for someone and you would say something like um, how to handle rejection. No, it's deeper than that. This is a divine channel. We are divine beings. Starseeds, we are not really being rejected in truth. No, um, we need to learn how to handle rejecting someone. And as an empath, rejection is not easy to always give out either because you feel their pain. So that's that, y'all. And then, too, I'm here with the hands because I'm really digging the hand vibes. Like, I kind of wanted my channel to be hands, like just my hands, because then we could focus a little more. I felt like with my last channel, I wasn't able to work as often as I wanted to or just be as creatively open as I wanted to because it was just more like I had to ha I had my face in it and you know when it comes to adding your face that's presentation and stuff like that so we had to worry about more than what was actually important so maybe if we focus on the hands and the message then we'll get more done you get what I'm saying as a collective so yes y'all Miss Mysterious Miss Mysterious I want y'all to know I am 23 years old I'm a Libra my birthday is 10 10 um I'm not going to tell y'all my name right now because I'm not ready for that. Um, call me Miss Mysterious, okay? Uh, but yeah, y'all, we're going to get into it. So, I don't know, and I don't read tarot like a normal person, so we not we may not stay on that topic of um, how to handle rejecting someone, but y'all keep that in mind, okay? Because we're going to get into the message and then we're going to get out of it. So, boom. Let's see what we can do. First, we got the Oracles of the Fairies deck. Y'all, what is popping? Mercury Retrograde is still here. You don't know. Y'all don't know. For real, for real. I made this channel maybe like two months ago, two or three months ago or something like that. And, like, I've just been debating on coming here. Because me, like I said, I'm a Libra Sun, Air, Gemini, Moon, too, at that, um... Pisces rising and the way that I have to think about things before I do them in order to manifest like correctly or I don't know if I have to but I know that I do it so like my manifestation process comes with a lot of thinking first before um I move because if I think about what I do before I do it it's a better chance of me having success with um like proper planning but also north node and south node my north node requires a little more planning so y'all um the topic was how to handle rejecting someone so maybe even planning um y'all planning i see this ask for help card angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time to ask for angelic assistance boom I'm all looking at the screen. I got this weird angle set up because I couldn't find my little thing. You know the thing that you put your phone on so it could hold it while you record or whatever? I couldn't find it. And I just wanted to get the video out of the way or whatever because I want to do it. 
um, but ask for help. So one thing I want to let y'all in on is you can pray about anything. And no, this will not be a religious channel. This is a spiritual channel. But I want you to understand, y'all to understand where I come from as a spiritual being. A spiritual being is understanding that it is a lot of truth in all religions, all stories, all things. Because most, most, um, most like spiritual texts is uh an indication or like map out maps of people's experiences and things like that it's truth in all of that you know your side my side and the truth so if you read it like if you read anything and you be open then um you will learn a whole bunch of everything so like i said when it comes to this says ask for angelic assistance you know if you've learned the names of certain angels if you've learned the name of certain deities trustable deities um and things like that they are saying or your ancestors or like spirit guides and stuff like that if you are aware of any of their names i'm here and if you know any of their names if you had any loved ones who were here who was very protective of you um names they say if you know names of people who will protect you in justice you get what i'm saying they not they saying if you are a divine being, they are saying don't call on anyone who will intentionally just over hurt another person. You get what I'm saying? Because we're talking about how to handle rejecting someone. So I'm going to then bring y'all into, like I said, so reach into these names. Okay, remember that part. I'm going to leave it too. I speak all over the place, so y'all try to keep up. But X for names when you need help with rejecting these people. Because then I wanted to talk to y'all about how people can behave about you rejecting them. Like rejection, rejecting people can result in a, like can have a lot of different effects. For example, so um, this is the Oracle of the Fairies deck. Hmm. I don't know if I want any more cards from this deck. I don't think so. So first we had the X for help card. Remember that, y'all. X for help. I'm going to leave that out just... Um, I'm going to leave that out just so I don't forget, y'all. Because I got, like, this little short-term memory thing. And it's not really, like, really horrible. But I can forget everything that I was talking about in a snap of an instance. So um, X for help from your angel angels and stuff like that. So then I was about to tell y'all about how... um like what rejecting people can look like um like rejecting people can be come so many things so y'all know they're saying that they got um new levels new devils right and that is 100 percent accurate every time you cross one path or you you succeed in one challenge as a divine being and you are searching to grow in this lifetime and become a better version of yourself you will face new challenges there will be new devils you will have to reject new freaking devils and they come with new powers and they come with new strengths and they come with new talents and new abilities and you will meet new devils in this lifetime every time every time you become better new devils new devils um especially like i said as a divine being you are very attractive um like the way that you take care of yourself and you take care of others it's going to make people be drawn to you naturally but as an empath there will be other spirits around that already have plans on how they and i want y'all to know that and i'm just speaking honest it will be other spirits around you um who have plans on basically controlling you in some sort of way honestly and um just say i'm just saying that if you turn them down it can go from you turning one person down with the first level and it's like sadness or whatever but then you turn the next devil down at the next level and that devil was angry and you turn the next devil down and then that devil is violent and then you turn the next devil down and that de you get what i'm saying new levels new devils and then as you go through the levels like you see some repeated devils as well you get what i'm saying so it's like all I can really say to you when it comes to rejecting the devils, they're always going to make you feel bad. You're always going to, 
especially as an empath, like I said, you're always going to feel bad because really as an empath, whether you acknowledge or not, whether you acknowledge it or not, like your reasoning for being in that person's life is because you can help them in some type of way. And as an empath, you can see exactly what's missing so you know exactly how you can help them. So like when you leave them, you're seeing yourself take away something that could have made them stronger. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? You're picking up what I'm putting down. I feel y'all feeling me. Opinionated mystery. Mysteriously opinionated. Mm-hmm. That's right. The past is history. The future is a mystery. The present is a present. And that's why they call it a present. You're... So, that's what I was going to say. Like, when you feel bad for letting these people go, think about how how good you're treating yourself for choosing not to let someone else mistreat you. And then... And then, I forgot what I was going to say because I just got distracted. I'm sorry, y'all. But, did y'all see this one that's dropped? All right, for the collective, I'm going to keep these right here. <laughs> new levels, new devils. Yes, you're going to feel bad. Sometimes people are going to make you feel bad for leaving them. But just know that you're doing yourself a favor. You already learned the lessons about putting yourself off you get what i'm saying for other people and if you've already learned the lesson you've already learned the lesson it's nothing more that that person can do for you but teach you the same lesson type shit you feel what i'm saying excuse my language but i like the curse it's my french <laughs> but um voulez-vous coucher avec moi yo somebody tell me what that mean because <laughs> your girl don't know so let's see mysteriously opinionated what's up mysterious gang what's going on with these cards boom the ever unfolding rules cracked open is happening for you not to you motherfuckers will act up this i'm telling y'all an experience right because as reader we supposed to talk to you about what we experience and also y'all should know or something that i had to accept is that me as a young girl because i'm i'm one of the young i'm one of the younger ones on here yeah i'm kind of like i don't want to say goaded because I don't, because I'm all over the place, but I want to say like vetted in this area for real. Like I've been here already. So sometimes I will be talking about lessons and stuff that I have not experienced in this lifetime, but my soul is infinite. So just trust me. You feel me? Trust God. I trust God. I love God. Um, so just know that anything that you hear or that you dislike or anything like that whether it be for me or anybody in this world you can always pray about it and that goes back to that ask for help so when i was mentioning the new levels new devils when when these devils get like too aggressive to where i can't handle them i pray i pray i pray about them and i know there's a lot of people who say that they don't pray for their enemies and stuff like that but that's just not my heart that that's not my heart and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know how y'all feel about that, right? Um, like, I can't tell you, but one thing about it is I'm going to have an honest conversation with God, and I suggest you do the same. So when I have a vengeful heart or a vengeful spirit, I communicate that with God. But when I also have that vengeful heart because he communicates with me. So I also am told, like, I need to clean up my attitude, you feel me, type of energy when I communicate my vengeful soul with God. So that ends up making me want to pray for those people. Because since I'm also, you know, Libra too, like a peacekeeper type of energy. So um, I really don't be wanting to have no whole bunch of problems with people. So I would love to pray to God about it so that, you know, he can resolve the conflict. It is already done. So answer the call was the last card in this deck. What is your soul calling you to do? I'm on tarot right now. How about you? Like, I had to, I had to get back into what I love, you know. And I was so nervous. Like, on my last channel, y'all, it had people that I knew. So we talking about handling rejection. And I told y'all rejection can look so like so many different things. You feel what I'm saying? Like technically, I'm rejecting my last collective. Technically, I am rejecting them. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still, or you know, was still like drawing people into me, and now I'm I can't 
tend to them anymore for my better self. So my last collective was full of people that I knew, like personally, people that knew my name, people who knew what I looked like, da 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 da, where I'm from, blah blah blah. I don't want none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm too young of an empath, too gifted, um, you know, for for well not too, cause I am blessed. I am abundant. I am not too abundant. I am abundant, just the way that it is meant to be, correct? Right? But when they got that saying, like, sometimes God, he want to hide you, you know, and that is something that is hard for me, too. That can be a little hard for me. How about y'all? You feel me? When God when God wants to hide us, you know what I'm saying? And as star seeds, as chosen ones, you know, as God's children, some of his favorites, you know, he loves us because we love him. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to hide when you are a shining star. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes let God, if, if, if hidden is actually not your thing because he ain't really gonna hide us maybe he'll start categorizing us baby i want you to go focus on this i want you to go focus on that because i want you to know that as a star if if i didn't go focus on my passion i was going to be doing something else and they was going to see me but if god wants to hide me for the moment you know hide me in a place right in plain sight at that i'm still open to the collective my other collective can find me one day you know but right now, this is a fresh start. God, sometimes he want to hide us. So even that rejection, rejecting certain people, especially in romantic offers and stuff like that, that's God allowing you to be hidden. You get what I'm saying? Because when those people get angry, they're going to treat you a certain type of way. They're going to talk about you behind your back. They're going to do all of that, and it's going to push people away from you. It's going to make people sleep on you and your abilities and your talents and your gifts. And that is exactly what God wants to do sometimes. You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes he going to pull you back out the deck. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like, look what I did with my child. Remember the one that you didn't believe in? Well, here they are. I have, I have risen them from the ashes type of energy. You get what I'm saying? But sometimes, 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 like, we got to understand. We got to understand that just because... Our enemies are our enemies. That don't make them an enemy of God. And this is my opinion, and I'm speaking here because I'm an individual. And this is what I came here to do. On Mysteriously Opinionated or Opinionated Mystery, I don't remember which one it is. But that's what I came here to do. To, I guess the word is, avenge the truth. You get what I'm saying? Because we can all have an opinion. We can all have an opinion. We can all have feelings. I'm telling you that in real facts, I will talk to God about someone's character because I believe it is not right. But at the end of the day, when we read these books, we understand that God controls all. So if God allows someone and he loves you and God allows someone in your life to hurt you, he wants to teach you a lesson. He loves them enough to guide them to do the thing because when they hurt you, they got a lesson to learn too that's going to bring them closer to him too, hopefully, or whatever their process is. But I want you to know that like, one, we don't have no right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes where... And I can only kind of read... I can only kind of fall back on some of the texts of the Bible. Because on my last channel and, like, in part of my last experience, I was involving myself in the Bible. And, like, I be getting to know the Bible because I like Jesus, too. So, like... Even in some of the stories, I don't remember. I believe it was Jeremiah. Um, somewhere in Jeremiah, and y'all know I'm right. So in Jeremiah, um, where God had mentioned to Jeremiah when he had went back. Because Jeremiah first, like how I'm interpreting this, like at first Jeremiah wanted to help his people. And God was giving him a chance to do that. You get what I'm saying? But then when his people started rejecting him, Jeremiah went back to God and said, do as you will with them type of energy right so it's like i don't remember who came after jeremiah but this was still in the book of jeremiah um where god told somebody or the lord told somebody definitely the lord um in in words in text the lord 
told somebody don't come to him praying about them because he will not listen he will not listen so it's not that he's not listening is that he's not going to listen unless we repent why would you get what I'm saying? He's going to hear us, but he's not granting any requests without repentance. It's a difference. He didn't say that he didn't love them due to the fact that they did not repent. He is our father. He must punish us. He must. That's how we are disciplined. That's how we become better. Like I said, sometimes I'm going to be teaching y'all some lessons that I have not experienced in this lifetime, but my soul is infinite. God has, he is shaping us. He is molding us. So if somebody is bad to you in this lifetime, maybe you should pray for them and it's deeper than the flesh. You get what I'm saying? Because maybe they got a couple more lifetimes to go until they are as gracious as you or until they are as polite as you or they are, you feel what I'm saying? Until they can get where you are. So maybe like... Yeah, we see ourselves as favorites, but we always got to check ourselves too. And I'm just being real. You feel me? Like, show them God's love. Show them God's kindness. Show them that so that they can repeat that when it's their turn. Okay? I'm about to put these away. Yes, pray for them. I mean, you, you feeling too malicious to pray for them. I'm not here to judge you. You feel what I'm saying? But I really, re I got a lot of respect for certain texts in the Bible, and I don't just read the words, I feel the words. I'm a reader. I'm a reader. And card readers, we read these words, but we feel these words more. And you don't just take that on a card. You you take that everywhere with you in life. You're not just listening. You're learning. You get what I'm saying? You're not just, you're not just taking in information just loosely like you feeling it what does this mean to you you feel what i'm saying and god said that we had to forgive god said that we must forgive if we want to be forgiven we have to forgive and i'm a libra so i learned karma which makes this even easier for me because literally anything that basically anything that i want to receive i must give i must you get what i'm saying so then i can tell you as the fact because i can learn a lesson in about five minutes for real like a whole spiritual lesson in about five minutes depending on my personality because if god is about to smack me across the side of my whatever he about to smack me so that I can get it and I need to get it within the next couple minutes. He going to do just that. You feel what I'm saying? And I want you to know like I said, if you want to be forgiven, you must forgive. Like if you want everything that you want um you have to be willing to give. So I have a prayer. I have a prayer. I love I love I love certain things, y'all. I love have a prayer. A daily prayer. I'll read it to y'all when I find it. Because it's missing for a reason right now. But. Yeah. When you reject people. Sometimes they not going to understand. Understand that everybody is not mentally where you are. You get what I'm saying. Like. Especially you as an empath, you may come off like you're not as strong as you really are. So a lot of people who really not willing to do the work to actually build the actual strength of, you know, healing after being hung on the cross, Christ consciousness. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're going to disappoint them. Yes, you are. You're going to make them upset. But just realize that you're doing, you're doing them a favor. You get what I'm saying? First of all, especially certain signs. I don't know about y'all, but certain signs is karma. Like, certain of us give out really bad karma. So, just think about how good you're doing somebody by allowing them to learn their lesson. You get what I'm saying? Over, um, you know, crippling them and yourself. How to handle rejection. Breathe and speak your truth. So... How to handle rejecting someone, breathe and speak your truth. So angels and ancestors, do you have anything to say to the collective on how they should, the collective of empaths, divine masculines and feminines, empresses and emperors in the making or in the being? But if we right here, we in the making, y'all know it. We didn't sat in our chairs. Of course, we have our thrones waiting for us, but we got work to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's a beautiful thing to know that you got work to do, like. I always seen it like if you're going to be a queen, 
And first of all, the empress is the queen of queens. And if you're going to be a queen, you're really not a queen if all you're doing is sitting in your chair. Like, you may be an evil queen or something like that, but if you want to be a gracious queen, you got to get up out your chair. You got to go explore. You got to go experience what everybody else has to offer to see how you can benefit those people who can benefit off of you. You get what I'm saying? And there's no way that you think that on your entire journey you're going to be beautiful, not sweating, no dirt on your hands or dirt on your feet. You got to go through everything to secure your spot. You get what I'm saying? You got to go through everything. And sometimes it's over and over and over again, you know, but you rule the people as a person, as a divine person. It's people who look up to you. You have your own community. You have your own a whole tribe who's going to follow you as soon as you step into your path, as soon as you step into your power. You get what I'm saying? And you got to eat with them. Don't eat in front of them. You get what I'm saying? Get your hands dirty. Yes, you're the empress, but don't forget to eat with the knights. Don't forget to practice like a knight. Yes, you're an emperor, but don't forget to eat with the kings. Don't forget to practice how to be a king. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we, yes, we can be born royalty, but in order to honor and keep the throne, you must, in my opinion, you must do it with grace. So let's see. And remember, this is opinionated mystery or mysteriously opinionated in my opinion. So we got a white flower, a white, um, a white, um, feather y'all so if y'all seen y'all white feathers see guardian angel you are not alone your guardian angels are telling you indication you see white feathers i'm hearing brown i was thinking black in the beginning white black or brown feathers mean that your ancestors are around you i'm hearing pigeons um yeah pigeons and whatever those little small brown birds are i don't know what they call i don't know this is just what i'm hearing um is an indication that your ancestors are around and birds that look you in the eye. Um, they they just here to check on you. Um, and yes, they, w they can jump vessels. But brown, white, and black feathers means your uh, guardian angels are around you. When you experience a lot of conflict, don't forget to call on them. Ask them for help. God, I give this to you. Or like when I'm speaking, because it all depends on the levels of it for real. You feel what I'm saying? Like who I'll reach out to. Like sometimes, because my spirit guys, your spirit guys are always around. Like God is always listening too, but you got to understand that it's really levels to this for real. Like so God is the CEO, independent contractor of the whole business. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not going to him to complain about let's think of it like a building right like you're not going to god as the ceo to complain about how the socket next to your computer isn't working like is a manager for that you get what i'm saying so if you having like minor issues you can go to your spirit guides y'all i need help with this can you can you handle that before i do type energy because i don't know about y'all can you handle this for me please um please you know what I'm saying? Like, talk to them. That's what they're saying. Talk to them. Talk to them. Don't forget to spend time, like, honoring them. Like I said, if you know names, if you know names of them, that means you know their energy enough to acknowledge how they make you feel and how you are grateful for them. They want to talk. They want to talk. Tell me I'm the best I am. I be feeling like yes I am. Some of y'all got some strong um some of y'all got some strong um ancestors and they a little cocky. Somebody's um somebody's ancestors are fire signs. So at first I was thinking Leo. I just heard one of mine's come in because Aries is a lot of confidence so they're they are they're encouraging you to be confident when you make moves in order to um like put yourself in a better predicament right like yeah you make like yeah you may hurt somebody's fake feelings when you reject them but in reality let's look at it like let's look at it like a fire sign like if you reject somebody who means you no good come on now like why would they care you didn't mean them no good you get what i'm saying like go deal with your fake feelings somewhere else i don't want to hear it life goes on 
So they saying like your ancestors. They that's why they were saying like call on them because they going handle that. And they like, oh yeah, I'm the best I am. I be feeling like yes I am. Because they go and handle your problems like that. That's what I'm hearing. I miss channeling so bad. I missed being magical. Like, I missed being so mystical. Um, I miss this. Um, but, yeah, somebody's ancestors is cocky. Somebody's ancestors is cocky. And they know that they get the job done. Because I'm still hearing that. Tell me I'm the best I am. I be feeling like, yes, I am. I feel like that's some of these, some of these ancestors is mine. And they happy that I'm sitting back down here doing this. Tell me I'm the best I am. Y'all, I'm not doing personal readings right now. Um, Just so y'all know, I want to focus on building and reaching out to my soul tribe. Getting in contact with my soul tribe as soon as I can. Because we need each other. So, and I work too. So, um, yeah, I want to focus on us as a whole for right now. I just seen the sun card. Like I said, somebody's ancestor is a Leo. Leo. And they singing a little louder. That's why I kept coming back. Because like I said, mine, well, I don't know if I have any Leo ancestors. None that I know of. But I know, um, definitely Aries. And Libra and Aries and Libra are very protective and tactical, like when it comes to the people that they love. And it's like, tell me I'm the best I am. I'll be feeling like, yes, I am. Mm hmm. But it's like I said, I've seen the sun card, so Leo energy and strength. Transcend. Mm hmm. They say stop being uncomfortable in your power. That's what they said. They said get used to being the shit. Get used to being the shit. It's meant for you. Tell me I'm the best I am. I, you know, when I wanted to read Tarot, Tarot wasn't for me for real. <laughs> Bro, like, when I wanted to be, like, one of the best versions of a Tarot reader for myself or whatever, like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Like, reading tarot, I feel like it really called out to me once I was done with it. <laughs> like, it's like, girl, you a natural. Now, tell me I'm the best I am. I be feeling like, yes, I am. Y'all, and I'm going to give y'all this advice, too. Like, every spiritual person is different, too. Like, I'm not saging all the time. I don't sage all the time. I'm not saging all the time. I want to... I want to investigate the energies around me. And this world is multidimensional. So in order for me to understand or even get in touch to the different dimensions that's going on on this realm, sometimes you cannot sage. If you're an empath and you want to know what's going on with you, like you ain't scared, then, babe, don't sage all the time. Do not sage all the time. And do not sage all the time around your altars. You get what I'm saying? Like, your ancestors, they still got energies. You get what I'm saying? Especially for me, right? Particular. Myself in particular. I, I communicate with them. Especially mine, my family, I communicate with them. If I know them by name, I'm talking to them. And sometimes they don't like when I sage. You get what I'm saying? Like, they were people who also lived and committed sins just like us. You get what I'm saying? So to get rid of some bad energy because my ancestors is upset because some fuck shit is going on in my life or they seen some fuck shit about to happen or something like that. Like you can't sage all the time because, yeah, you feel the weird energy around you, but that's because it's weird shit going on around you. You get what I'm saying? So your ancestors is not going to be pleased with you saging your altars where they lay and where they stay because they riled up for a reason. Trust. I'm just seeing this owl card. Wisdom. I'm telling you real, real, bro. I'm telling you real, real. Sometimes they let me sage around them. Sometimes they don't. I'm telling you. I, and I haven't saged in a while. I used to sage a lot. 
But like I said, I then started liking to evaluate the energies. You get what I'm saying? Especially depending on your gifts and stuff, like what you can tap into. I'm not saging all the time. It's too many spirits that I have to communicate with in order to heal myself and to heal them. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm somebody who I'm somebody who can work with damaged souls or um, yeah, damaged souls. I can work with damaged souls or bruised souls. So I'm not saging all the time. Like this work of healing is bigger than just this this dimension. You get what I'm saying? And that's how I feel. And that's my opinion, y'all. So watch how y'all saging. Like, don't swear, don't, don't, don't watch the movie and then go have a conversation with somebody who read the book type of energy. Or don't read the book and then go have a conversation with somebody who watched the movie. It's just not the same experience. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you want to know what's going on in this world and you want to be aware of your surroundings, get aware of your surroundings type of energy. You feel what I'm saying? Get aware of the multi-dimensions, the multiple dimensions, aware of the fact that it's multiple dimensions happening right where you stand in this moment. It's other creatures aware of the fact that you are sitting exactly where you're sitting and depending on whatever matter they're made of, some of them sitting right next to you. Some of them may be playing with you and dancing on top of your head. You never know. Like somebody could literally have bunny ears up behind you in this exact moment and you know nothing about it because this is a multi-dimensional world you get what i'm saying this is a multi-dimensional universe and we do need to have respect for those things so before we go off saging all the time and trying to get rid of some bad energy see what it's about because then what if they even upset because you got some fuck shit and they see farther into your plans and you're about to do some fuck shit you don't sage that energy and wipe out the whole process of how they was about to tell you how to fix it Sweeping it under the rug don't fix it. It don't. So sometimes, like I said, that whole thing where it's like I'll go to God, like or I'll go to my, I'll go to my spirit guides, whatever. I'll go to the angels, whoever I'm feeling at the moment, how I'm feeling, cause yeah. And I'm like, y'all, can y'all handle this? Because I've evaluated the situation, or da da da, and it's making me feel like this. And this is going to make me behave like this. But I need this situation handled. Because if it's not handled, then it's going to get handled. You feel what I'm saying? Because at some point in life, we got to accept that it's a, it's, a, it's a mountain of dirt. It's a mountain of dirt being swept under the rugs. You know what I'm saying? We got to clean that out. And once you start cleaning from under your rug, you just don't want nothing else under there. And you got to start the process to understand how... You gonna fit like you gotta start cleaning from under the rug to see what's going under going on under there so that so that um you can have appreciation of how clean it is to not want anything else under there. Even if you're not done cleaning. You get what I'm saying? Still you ain't gonna add no new stuff under there while you cleaning. Yeah. So, I'm going to take some from my little tarot deck, and then we're going to get out of here. How to handle rejecting people, right? Tell me I'm the best I am. I'll be feeling like, yes, I am. Y'all, and I don't know if this will help y'all, but I really enjoy being the empress, right? So, sometimes I like to work on the elements as, like, individuals. You get what I'm saying? Cups, um, swords, wands and uh cups swords wands and pentacles i like to work on them as individuals like i like to check back in with each of those areas to make sure i'm doing my best in that area to maintain you know my position i just seen the sun card again some of y'all like i said my ancestors is is leo's I'm hearing Native American descent because I also have a theory about God being um, in the stars. And you know the sun is a star. It's just a fireball. And all the stars are just other suns and at a, like at a farther distance. So I believe. And like the suns or the stars, because it don't matter how you put it, it's the same difference. But they control many ecosystems, like 
they maintain many ecosystems. Like so many people are living and, and breathing or I'm like people. It's people on earth. I'm saying it may be people in other universe in other galaxies. I don't know anything about it. Neither do you. Like we can't even get the Alpha Centauri. So come on now, you don't know nothing. So um, but <laughs> like all I'm saying is I believe that God is within the sun, and it makes sense. Like it makes sense. The way religions is break broken down, the way cultures is broken down, the way everything is broken down, the way everything is made, certain stuff just makes sense. Because, like I said, when you read different books and you realize that different religious texts is telling you similar stories, then you'll start looking at life different. Everything is the same. It's just told in a different way, shown in a different way. Um, I'm about to pull a random tarot card. The tarot cards is not really wanting to talk, actually, because I'm getting sleepy. Um, so the Five of Cups. Be grateful for something. Be grateful for your losses, I guess. Um, I'm hearing the load was lightened so that you can receive new blessings. Yep, that's it, because we was talking about um, rejection. Sometimes you even got to reject freaking friends. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's something to be sad about, bro. Like, man, I mean, that's me personally. I'm a Libra. Like, rejecting just anybody in a relationship, that's easy. Like, relationship rejection, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about you anyway. Either I care about you or I don't, for real. But, like, friends, you know, it's it's lots of love to go around for them kind of people. So, you feel me? But if God is... If God is taking people out of your life or guiding you to take people out of your life, it's so that he can make space for people who really love you. Maybe he's making space for you to be one of those people who really love you. And one of those people, one time I taught myself this lesson. Right, y'all? I haven't read tarot in months. I've been learning life. Like, because I can go into hermit mode for a long time. So when I come out, I got a lot of lessons to learn. Um, the hermit is my north node. But, um, I taught myself this lesson. I taught myself a lesson. And I'm repeating that because I forgot it for the moment. Yeah, I forgot it. I'm not really forgetting it, but I kind of forgot it. So we're speaking on, like, loss and being grateful. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I really don't remember. I just know that sometimes stuff stuff gonna go and, and when it do it's for a reason and he making space for beautiful things in your life and you just gotta trust that. You get what I'm saying? We all gotta trust that. If it hurts while he putting us through the lessons, then maybe we should talk to him about it. You know, talk to him about it. Say ask for angelic assistance, like talk to them about it. Like if like, instead of asking God to change the situation, maybe ask God to help you see clearer. You get what I'm saying? Like, maybe ask God to help you open your eyes a little more to the situation. Like, ask him to reveal things to you. Ask him to lend you patience. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things that we can ask for other than just simple, like, God take the ouchies away. Maybe we should just be asking stuff like, God, why is this ouchie here? Consequences, no coincidence. Yep, y'all, I'm done. That is it for today. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But I'm really excited to start my journey here with y'all, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I already appreciate the love. I feel the success that's going to come with this channel um, and the support that's going to come with this channel. I really look forward to y'all, like, spending time with y'all and getting to know y'all mysterious gang gang. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Um, but I rock with y'all because I came here to create a more elevated community. And that's exactly what that's going to be, right? Right. So, I love y'all already, of course. Love you lots. Um, see you in the next video. Um, you can like my video if you want to. I'm never one to like really force that, uh, but you can like my video. That I would appreciate it because it will help my channel 
um, and you can subscribe to my channel too because that will help um, me, you, and others. You get what I'm saying too? Because I'm not one to share my tarot reader. I'm not sure about y'all. You feel me? I'm not, I don't share my tarot readers because my tarot reader knows too much about me, even if they don't know me personally. Like, who you view gets to tap into your energy, so I don't share my tarot reader. So, it does help to, like, simply just support your tarot reader in the way that they ask you to. You feel me? Um, to help yourself as well, you feel me? Because, like I said, me personally, I'm not sharing any of my readers. Like, I don't do that. So, since I can't share my reader i don't want to share my reader i just make sure i support my reader in the way that they ask if they ask them for the like to make their channel grow like to make the channel grow if they ask them to subscribe to make the channel grow subscribe to make the channel grow if they ask them for comments for something specific give the comment for something specific like we can help them in small ways because this spiritual community stuff this is big and this is real you know what i'm saying and if i'm protecting myself spiritually in all ways then i'm going to do that you feel what i'm saying so yeah y'all trust your intuition trust your gut put yourself first you feel what i'm saying like if somebody love you they're gonna love you and i promise you that like love love don't change love don't change even though it do it don't you feel me and somebody who loves you is gonna love you even more when you love yourself even more okay so mysterious gang, yeah it is what it is. We gonna see y'all. We in this thing next time. Mysterious gang, mysterious gang in this thing, in this thing, yeah. Um, but we out this thing now. So y'all, be breezy, and um, don't forget to pray over your food and pray before you go to sleep. Okay. Good night.